nice of you to join me. Today on my channel we're going to be doing part four in the Chest of Memories series of videos and in this video we're going to be looking at and making our albums that are going to go into our Chest of Memories. Now the Chest of Memories housing houses two albums, two 6x6 six six albums so you can get quite a lot of um, photographs in that a particular project so I'm quite excited um, to be doing the these albums um, this is the one that I made up um, previously it's a little bit smaller than the 6x6 but I wanted to do something that was a little bit bigger and it would stretch my my skills a bit more so although this one is smaller we're going to transfer everything that's in this one into the 6x6 okay so it's going to be exactly the same so we're going to do one like this and then one like my prototype which is here which I think I gave you a bit of a sneak pre, uh, a, a sneaky peek at the end of part three so if you watch part three you'll uh, already know what's inside here if you did get to this video and you haven't seen the um, parts one two one two and 2a and 3 then I will put the link up in that corner there I'll just give it a little tickle and if you click on that link that will then take you to the playlist where you can start this series of videos from the beginning okay so let's get on with it our tools we are going to need um, some 2 mil grey board a pokey tool some double sided tape this is quarter mil sorry quarter mil this is a quarter inch some um i'm going to use the um construction tape a ruler uh, a scoring ball a scoring tool and some scissors some glue most definitely you will need your cardstock but um once we get to the cardstock stage we can go through that as well so for our measurement, so to cut our 2mm grey board, um, I wish somebody would invent a trimmer that would be able to cut the 2mm, it would be um, amazing. These always cut just down 1mm, so you have to keep flipping it over. So, you need to cut, oh I will put the um, all the measurements um, somewhere on the screen so that you can uh, put me on pause and then you can uh, cut them out uh, at your leisure so for the covers we'll need two of these at six and a half by six and a half then we'll need a spine which is six and a half by two and three eighths of an inch okay and that's one of those then the gist then of our album so now I'm going to use the construction tape now so what we're going to do is we need to just edge our edges with our black tape so for the spine you only do the top and the bottom okay so that's one and then the bottom like so fold it over so that's that one done so with the covers we're only going to do three sides okay so it will be 
like a U shape that we do and for this we put it on the top of our so on the edge right on the edge we kind of balance it on the edge so half on half off along that edge I don't know if you can see that how I've got that there along that edge okay just rub that in so that you create that nice uh, bond and then we just take it round the corners now you need to be a bit careful because this can rip so just be careful it doesn't matter if it does because um, as I say no accident uh, any accident is a happy accident in my world so in my crafting world anyway so let's just take that bit off okay so you should be left with something that looks like that okay I'll just burnish those edges down now I tend to cut into the corners so you just cut up to the grey board turn over and do the other side okay then I fold one side over so if I'm starting uh, at this side I'm going to I'm going to burnish that down so starting at the middle just work your fingers down the sides the both of the sides of that tape to create that that bond okay so you've kind of like got that so you've kind of got one stuck and the two ends like that so what I now do is I just snip in to create like a triangle so you know the old-fashioned aeroplanes that you used to make uh, or my granddad used to make with me um, and you would have that that aeroplane point that's what you're looking for and you do that on the two edges and then push down okay all the way down to the bottom okay do the same on the other side and this is where titanium scissors are invaluable because I end up with these little slithers of tape stuck everywhere uh, and they are they're stuck on my shoes they're stuck on the dogs they're stuck on the cats they get everywhere so so that's two done and we need to do the, exactly the same on the other side again just sticking it down sticking it down And it doesn't matter if it's not level as you can see mine aren't level so it doesn't matter if it isn't because this is going to be covered by paper anyway so it uh, it's just really just to cover that edge so push down again I've started with the edge one of the edges okay stick that down and then create your aeroplane points like so and then push down okay. now I still get creases I mean I've been um, using this now for months um, this since lockdown and I still get creases on mine for some unknown reason tonight this is just going perfectly I'm just I'm just looking up to make sure I've got the um, camera recording because uh, it's uh, going perfect so I've got then our covers now edged so this is where we start to put it all together okay so let's think about what we're doing okay so this is what it looks like at the minute so we're going to join them together now I'm going to use our uh, construction tape so how I do because I sta I craft standing up um, I have done for a while now 
and I find it a lot easier to um, to do it that way. So when I use when I um, unroll my tape like so, I let it hang off the side of my work surface, okay, and then I hold it in place so that it doesn't drop, and then that way I've kind of got that out of the way and it's not um it's not sort of um on here because you can do it this way and put your tape your pieces on but this is just the way i find it's so much easier so i just kind of push hold that on get your spine it doesn't matter which one you do you can either do your spine or your or your um covers and we just do it again half on just I buy eye it half on half off and burnish that into place so that is nice and stuck get your cover and put it over your spine like so match it up so line it up so that they are both level okay and then we're going to lift the two of them up together at the same time okay so once I get this working okay I think what I should have done is I should have done the cover first okay once you've done that open them all out okay you might need a little bit of pressure just to spread that uh, tape out so that you've it's nice and flat in the center of your fold here Okay. Once you've once you've got it to where you like, a little bit of tension on the tape and just pull it over and then burnish into place. Taking your tape, cut some off. Okay. Do exactly the same. Just a little bit of tension on the tape so it's pulled a little bit taut and then stick it down. Now I've actually got too much there. So touch that bit off. And again, just burnish that into place. I'm just going to use my tool. Okay, just to burnish that down. Okay. So now we need to do the other side. And it's exactly the same technique. Them out and put your, the last piece on again, half off, half on. Take that off. Okay, burnish that into place. Take your spine and cover and match them up. Okay, fold them over and what that does is that gives you your natural gap of your um, width of your your grey board it just gives that natural gap of of two mil okay so again just um, push them pull them out a little bit sometimes it does that and moves so you have to uh, if you're not happy and it doesn't stick just redo it that's all you need to do as I say it's uh, no problem okay sometimes it works out sometimes uh, it will go into place straight away other times it just takes a little bit of work okay and open them out make sure it's this bottom one I think I spoke too soon about uh, it going all perfect. Okay, take the tape over the top, push it down. And a little bit of tension on the tape just to 
get a nice flush look at the top and then burnish in place and then that then is the, the actual workings out of our book all right it is a little bit flimsy at the minute but don't worry because it won't be okay you're going to need your um your cardstock that you're going to use now to make up your pages and your spine um, I'm going to cut in cream and then I'm, I'm going to stick it all in in black because I want this album to actually go into my project and uh, black pages are just going to work better but black using black on camera is really difficult because um, you can't see what I'm doing so that's the reason why you might, might see um, a swapping colour. So we need now to do our spine cover and our hinges so this is what we need to do to so our spine cover you need to cut um, your cardstock at four inches by six and a quarter let me just double check to make sure um, I think it's six and a quarter yes it is I was right yes so your so for first of all so your spine co cover is six uh so six and a quarter by four okay so that's your spine cover now you need to do your hinges let me just change my blade um. Oh, I'll get it in there. There we go. Uh, so your hinges you need to cut at six and a quarter by th th three and seven eighths. And then another one at six and a quarter by two and five eighths. So there, then your spine and your spine mount. Bring in your scoreboard, and you'll need a scoring tool. And working with your biggest one, so not your spine mount, just double check that I don't get the, so the, do you remember the spine mount is the four, four inches, okay, the biggest one uh, of your um, hinges is uh, three and seven eighths, so these are the score marks you'll need to do, so you need to score at a half, one inch one and five inches sorry one and five eighths two and a quarter and three and three eighths sorry two and a quarter two and seven eighths and two uh, sorry and three and three eighths okay so I'll run through those again so you've got one and a half one inch one and five eighths two and a quarter two and seven eighths and three and three eighths okay so that's your first hinge then your second one so you need to score it at half an inch one inch one and five eighths and two and one eighth okay this is what um you will be left with for your spine mounts sorry your your hinges so we're going to fold them over now and put our double-sided tape on so this is what we do 
so we start with if i bring that up let me see if i can bring that camera down just a tiny bit let's bring it out hopefully you'll be able to see once it focuses like so now come on focus it will do in a minute there we go so can you see my score lines here now let me also just for the purpose of this let me get a, a ruler and i'll just draw them score lines in and then you'll be able to see it's very difficult to try and film these these might not be straight so um, it's just um, to give you a visual aid okay. okay so that's a lot better now you can see so where my pencil lines are that's where I've scored it so we're going to start with this outside um, edge here and we're going to fold over away from you and we're just going to fold that over and then score it down and then burnish into place okay just to to make that that score line a lot crisper okay we're next going to do the next line down so we've done this one we're going to do the next score and we're going to fold that away from us again like so and then just burnish that score to get that nice firm crisp crisp um, score so now we're going to turn it round and do exactly the same on the other side so fold over away from you and then score and then sorry not score, um, burnish and then fold the next score line and burnish that okay now this you should then i'm going to fold it this way so that you can just see so that is then what we're left with okay so we'll have we've got three columns okay they don't need to be um folded to create uh, any score they are there just as a guide for when we put the um smaller hinge on top okay so now we've folded those that's then what you should be left with okay that you've got like a a, a, a u-shape um piece of card okay so bring in the next one and then this is the smaller one now i'm not going to draw the pencil lines because you can just see those a little bit but we're going to just again do exactly the same technique fold the one nearest you away from you and then the next line down um, burnish that score as well and then fold then turn it over or flip it round and do exactly the same on the other side okay and then burnish those to get those scores perfectly crisp okay so then that's what we're left with on the second one okay this is the smaller one so i'm going to take you out a little bit now look away if you get squeamish because it may go quick more there we go so from our double-sided tape now you can put double-sided tape all along the back of your biggest one if you want to i um i'm going to use a bigger uh school tape just to put um along it just for quickness um today so i'll put it all the way along okay and again and that so you leave so you do the three middle columns okay and leave the two outer ones free okay you don't put your school tape on those so for our second one now what i should have said is we don't do it on the 
the ones that we folded it's going to be on the back so make sure that you put your hinges so these are your hinges fold them over like so and then flip it to the back so that you've only got the three um, columns facing upwards and then that will be the back that's what's going to get stuck into our book and do exactly the same on your smaller hinge and again I'm just going to put a, a big long piece there and then we're ready to take them off and then stick them into our book so I've double sided the hinge now I'm going to use my glue and I'm just going to put a layer of glue over the top. Now that layer of glue is going to give you a bit of wiggle room to be able to put it onto your uh, other hinge. So again, using the two columns in the middle there, you are going to place this one directly in the middle of that. And then that gives you the perfect distance between your hinges okay make sure that it's in the right spot and you can wiggle it over because you've got that extra time with the glue now I've got a bit of glue seepage there so let me just get that off Okay, and then accentuate those scores, okay, which we did already. So, with your spine mount, I'm going to put the black one on. Just tape round the edges. So, oh, so, oh. okay, I'm back in the room again so sorry about that I'm, <laughs> I'm just getting attacked by insects and now I'm, I'm itching everywhere because I think oof I don't know where that came from um, so I'll have to hopefully look back and see if, whether it dropped on the uh, desk or something so as I say last night I had uh, as I was filming I had daddy long legs and now millipedes so back in the room and on with our book so we've got our spine mount so you need to put your double sided tape around the four sides now I'm just going to rip that off like so and just around the sides here don't put any in the middle because we need this to move so that's why we left we've left the bit blank inside so getting your pokey tool just open just take off the the backing sorry I was just trying to think where that had come from and that was um yeah Ooh. okay so once you've taken all your backing off you this is uh, quite important it doesn't have to be uh equal either side it doesn't matter but you need to try and get it as level as you can between the top and the bottom because this is the line you're going to you're going to follow when you come to put your hinges on okay so i'm just going to bring it out a shot a minute just so that um, i'm not leaning over too much and i think that is about right a little bit, a little bit more There we go. And then push down, burnish that in. Okay. Now, I always use a ruler just to get the crease in the right place. And it just gives it something to 
um, hold on to so just bring up your cover up over that ruler and you've created one crease and then do the same on the other side there we go and then that creates the other pin. then just give them a bit of a wiggle not focusing just give it a little bit of a wiggle just to um, stretch those fibers in that paper and then as you can see the it is now starting to retain its shape with that um, spine mount inside it's uh, really just giving that rigid rigidity um, in the uh, album so now we can put our hinges in so <clears throat> you've already put the double sided tape on the back so take this off and remember to put some glue on there as well because then that helps with the removability or movability not removability okay like so then trying this needs to be as straight as it can be so Follow the two lines at the top and the bottom of that spine mount and then with the glue just wiggle into place Okay, so that you've ended, you end up with a nice gap either end and I'm just going to bring that down so that I can see and then once you're happy just again burnish that into place Okay like so okay and then that then is the start of our book so that's all the hinges in you can see them there that once you get your papers on there and your pages then it is going to look um, so much nicer so yes you have to start it has to go through that ugly stage first before it starts to sort of look um, pretty. Okay, so on to our pages. The pages, we're going to do two types of pages for this album and then just um, add our flips and flaps as we go. So the base of your page pages are going to be near enough the same but as it's only a four page album um, it makes it quite simple so this is an, um, a brilliant project for new crafters that are coming into making albums and also for experienced crafters because then you know you can add different flips and flaps as you go along so the, the album pages are like this so we're going to have one page that is just basic um, but it's I'm going to call this a sleeve page because it um, fits over our, over our hinges like so so we've got our page and then our page fits over our hinges like that and then it um, grabs the hinge okay so that's one page that's our sleeve page the next one is also a sleeve page but we've added the um, an extra little pocket on this one there's the pocket there so let me just grab it so that you can see that that's then the pocket so we're going to do two sleeves and two sleeves with the pocket attached so that's the uh, what we're going to do so the measurements for just the sleeve po pocket you're going to need to cut two at six and one eighth by five and three and three quarters and then two at seven and a quarter by five and three quarters also when you come to cut your card if you follow this method, you will get the most out of your um, 
out of one piece of paper so if you are like me and you have your blade for your trimmer on your left hand side and you cut in portrait mode but if you um, are like some people and have their blade at the top so facing them you need to have your sheet of paper landscape mode okay I always cut with my blade on the left hand side it's just something that I've always done so we're going to do the biggest cut first so our biggest cut is the six and one eighth so the six and one eighth we'll cut down like so don't get rid of these pieces because these can be used as belly bands um, in our album so keep hold of those so six and one eighth by five and three quarters and then I should get two cuts out of this page out of this paper so another one at four five and three quarters so that's um, part one so part two of that page we need to cut at seven and a quarter by five and three quarters so again I'm putting it in portrait mode so seven and a quarter by five and three quarters again So that is page one and two. So page three, the measurements are two at six and one quarter by five and three quarters, and two at five and three quarters by nine and one quarter. our trimmer aside so keep these ones that we've just cut to the side and we're going to go back and work on the pages one and two that we've cut out so you should have two longish pieces of card and two shortish pieces of card okay so we're going to work on the long pieces first so with the longest measurement to the top of your scoreboard which is the seven and a quarter that needs to go along the top and the shortest measurement down the bottom so measuring this and then scoring at half an inch okay, just take it out slightly and fold over that score to crease it to give that nice crisp, crisp crease Okay, like so then we're going to put the cardstock back against our board and we're going to then do another measurement at six and a quarter okay. then that gives us a sort of pocket to put our Card in to then create the page like so okay so that's one and do exactly the same on the other side get the right one so a quarter fold it over Oop. and six and a quarter again that crease and then we've got our second page so I'll, let me tell you I've actually cut your this part uh, of the page a tiny bit shorter than what the page width is now that is to allow, to allow 
the page to move because if I'd cut that at exactly six and a quarter we would have ended up with our pages bowing like so and because it's fighting to um, incorporate the that the thickness of the card so I've just cut off uh, about half not about a quarter an eighth of an inch just a slither so that when we stick this down we get a nice flat finish so let's stick it down now you can use glue I'm going to use double sided because glue I always get in a mess with uh, when I'm doing um, my pages and gluing um, glue tabs down because it uh, never seems I always end up with loads of seepage everywhere so you can put a bit of double sided and a bit of glue if you want to as well that that works but just for quickness I'm just going to add some double sided so get this by eye the centre of your page so you've got an equal distance between the two glue tabs and your paper and then just fold into place now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push all the air up so that my page is completely flat and then I'm going to glue or stick that glue tab down now you will end up it's you'll never get it perfectly um, flat like that not in a million years so a little tiny bit of a bow is good it's when it kind of does that it it, it just then when you come to attach it to the spot your um, your hinges um, it, it just looks a little bit unsightly but once you've got all your papers and embellishments on top of these it will lie flat anyway so let's do the other page so that then is our page two okay okay pages three and four of our album pages we're going to work with the the, the two um, pieces so you've got two long pieces and two shorter pieces so we're going to work with the long pieces first now make sure that you've got the longest measurement butted up against the top of your scoreboard here okay and then the shorter measurement goes down the side and this is our so we're going to score these at half an inch okay. then we're going to do exactly the same fold that over crease that score and then we're going to score again at six and a quarter fold that over and just burnish that score line so then that is part one of our page so bringing in then one of the short pieces that you've done this is going to get attached to your glue tab don't worry about the bottom because that is uh, not going to be hidden and we're going to use our uh, either construction tape or if you want to use double sided on the inside you can do that as well but as you can see I've not chopped a little bit off this so you I'm hoping you can see it if I bring that up can you see how um, bowed that is so what to get rid of that uh, bowing we're just going to trim a slither of card from the short one okay and I'm talking probably not even an eighth of an inch just enough 
so that it's not catching on that score so as you can see there it's now not lying flat you can't see that um, bowing there so using your score tape put the glue on the inside of the glue tab okay let me just burnish that bit down I sometimes forget to do is burnish the score tape okay again get your pieces level and fold that over and burnish down okay so this part here we're now going to add our construction tape so if you um mine's obviously going to be in black because that's what i've got but and i'm working on cream card so that you can see what i'm doing right to create your pocket you need your structure tape if you don't want to use the structure tape tape you can use double-sided tape down the edges here um which I'll show you in a moment so for the structure tape you just need to peel off possibly um, about a two inch long length it doesn't have to be too precise make sure that you've got no air bubbles in your paper and we're just going to put it onto the half on half off of the paper you don't want it to go above the cut line here above the pocket so come down to a little bit below the pocket again if you've got too much like I have just trim that little bit off there I've not trimmed the paper I've just trimmed the tape so we'll do the other side as well work from the top oh, look at that near enough brilliant uh, the right length so you don't want to go all the way over your page otherwise you you're never gonna you won't be able to use the sleeve to attach it to anything so pinch your pay your page at the bottom here so hold it firmly and then the tabs of the construction tape just um, push over so that they go inside the sleeve okay like so and then just burnish down so that you've still got that hole inside and do the same with the other side and the other side should be a little bit simpler because we've already done one so again just pry them open and push down and then that's your pocket page done and then we've still got the full opening of the pocket as you can see whereas when we put the double sided tape on it's going to reduce the, the, the width of your pocket so you'd, it will reduce the, the length of your tags or whatever it is you're going to put inside it okay I think I'm going to leave this video here now that we've made our four pages now you can do this exactly the same technique for album number two so I'm only going to film one album um, being constructed but you will make two so thanks again for sticking with me I hope you've enjoyed this video please give me a like if you have please comment below uh, something uh, anything that you want to comment down below I always answer them it um, so it'd be lovely to know what you think or if you have any questions also if you're not a subscriber please 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 hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because then that will mean every time I upload you will have a notification sent into your uh, mailbox so you'll be one of the first people to and get, get to see my videos as soon as I've uploaded them I'm also on uh, Facebook and Instagram I'm on them quite regularly so uh, come and say hi over there I've also got a brand new group 
I will put the name somewhere along here. It's called Memories Papers Paper Art and um, yeah we're a friendly bunch over there come and say hi and join and um, anything that you make from my videos you can post in there would be lovely to see so thanks again for watching watch out for part five which is coming up um, very soon and until then I will see you on the next one bye I, you know what, I cannot believe <laughs> the amount of insects that I am getting in my house. It is just unbelievable. Look. I've now got a millipede. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Right. Last night I had daddy long legs and flies. Have a look at him. I well, know it's not. Uh, we're doing a, a, a an actual video, but there you go. Oh, you're gonna fall. Okay, enough of that. Now, don't you be going on my hand. <laughs>